Hi, this is James of Bond with James, and this is the matter and change I have who has card sort activity. There are a total of 24 cards as of the making of this video. I have printed the cards out in color for the video. However, you always have the option of printing in grayscale. It really is up to you if you want the cards in black or white or if you want them in color. I find that color usually enhances and motivates the students a little bit more and keeps them a little bit more interested. But again, it's totally up to you. Now, this game is a looping activity, meaning that wherever you start, it doesn't matter. The game will end once you come back to the card that started the game off. Now, there are 24 cards in this set. If you have 24 students, great. If you want, you can play as a whole class. If you have 24 students or not, maybe you don't want to play as a whole class and you want them to play in small groups, maybe in pairs, trios, or in groups of four. You can do that. So let's say, for example, you put students in groups of four. Each student would get six cards. The way this works, again, is they read. It doesn't matter. I, I can start with the first card. I can start with a card in the middle. I can start with the card at the end. It doesn't matter. Students read their answer, I have solid, and then they read the clue. Who has the term used to describe a measure of the amount of matter in an object? The student says, oh, I have mass. And then they read their clue, they read their clue, they read their clue, read their clue, and so forth, until the game comes back to the original card that started it off. And again, it doesn't matter where you start, we can start with the first card, we can start with a card in the middle, we can start with the card at the end. So that is the matter and change I have who has card sort activity. If you like, you can subscribe to my YouTube videos by clicking on the box below the video or on the link in the upper left hand corner. Thanks for watching.